All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, that's right. It's a Coria official pre-release and release. So here we have my Coria pre-release pack that I bought. Uh, two booster packs that were given to me by the LGS, the local LGS. Uh, the the promo, the, the Godzilla promo holo foil. Let's see, can you see it? Yeah, there you go. One booster box I bought actual uh, regular booster box and two that's right two collector booster boxes so you may be wondering why did you buy so many boxes well it's actually because i love godzilla godzilla is an awesome fandom that i love we used to play with the godzilla toys that one of my friends had in elementary school i didn't have money to buy anything of that caliber but he had them we always had a bunch of fun. I always loved the movies. I even liked the 2001, was it? The the weird Godzilla one. I never saw the fat Godzilla one, the first one, the Godzilla 2000 or whatever it was called. But then I did see the newest Godzilla, Kingdom, uh, King of the Monsters, and that one was amazing. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. But let's see what we get here today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I will just go ahead and open the pre-release box and the two booster packs they gave me for buying the pre-release. All right, so we'll put our promo aside. First pack, oh man. Just being extra careful. So we'll just go in the, in the way they say. So the first one is the token. The, your land, um, next is the four commons, one, two, three, four. Your next one should be your two uncommons. So let's go ahead. Oh, these are regular booster pack. Um, oh, I didn't get a, oh, I see. They gave me regular booster box booster packs so we'll just look at we'll just look for the rares actually no wonder so yeah here's the uncommon frill skill our lands our rare is the cub warden i can't believe i missed that wow all right i think we'll put these aside instead guys and then the flourishing fox is our other uncommon and jubilant sky ponder all right, so that's regular pack number one. Regular pack number two. Oh, so I got that advertisement. So we got Rugged Highlands. Oh, wow, General Pedro. Whoa, I did not expect to get that out of a basic pack. That's crazy. That's awesome. What the heck? I got a rare, I got a mythic or whatever. <laughs> what the heck, guys? That's pretty intense. All right, uh, weaponized monsters are uncommon. It got the crystal, ooh, an extended art. And the rest would be like humble naturalist, so let's put these down. Naturalist, waking claws, flycatcher, drafted, crossbow, ambush, metal surgeant, grim pangolin, that's cool, phase dolphin, fire prophecy, another extended, metal bird, and uh, lurking dead eye. Wow, this is, uh, this pack was a, uh, I guess like a good pack. I didn't expect to get a freaking mythic from a free pack. All right, now for the real deal, the at least the pre-release kit. Let's go ahead and look at that, guys. The Coriolero Behemoth. Top, just a little thing. Bottom, meaning made in the USA. And apparently the, it says dye manufactured in China. All right, so let's go. I wonder if they made those dice before this whole uh, outbreak stuff that's been going on, guys. But anyways. Cool, it is extremely similar to Pokemon. Oh, no art. <laughs> All right, nice. This is actually a cool box. Oh, cool, it has the art. Yeah, they pretty much copied the Pokemon thing and just made it slightly bigger. So let's take a look what we have in here. Oh, nice. Look at that. You have the little section with your 
die, 20 sided, I assume, right? Yeah, it's 20. Cool. Let's put that down. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, our, our other promo, our actual promo. Oh, it's dated too. Legendary uh, Cat Nightmare. Uh, I was hoping to get a different one, but that's still pretty cool. Um, so let's put that aside. Um, so I won't put these with the other stuff, actually. I'll just leave them right there in the center. And then we have, let's see here, in our box. Whoa. So it looks like we got some dividers and some cards. It's really dark inside the box. It looks like one side was just used for the die. So we have a little thing, kind of like in Pokemon, I guess, where, yeah, building a pre-release deck to one companion, 15 to 18 creatures, five to eight other spells. Oh, the companion thing? Okay. The mana cost breakdown. Ask for advice. That's true, guys. Mutating your creatures. Oh, nice. They even show a trample thing. No limit to the number of mutate cards you can add to a creature. Oh, that's crazy. All right, and so then the other side shows you basically the breakdown of this set, some of the things in this set. So that's really nice. Uh, it's really cool because now you, it's like Pokemon where you get the stuff. So thanks for coming to uh, the pre-release. Oh, and this is my card for the arena thing. I might be giving this away, guys. I might, because I don't play arena as mentioned. Just keep watching and I will give the news on that, on how I will do that. Our tokens, paper tokens, cardboard tokens, and then a divider. That's a really cool divider. I I wish it came up with more, kind of like in Pokemon where they give you a couple. Uh, let's go ahead and put the paper stuff back. Well, we can leave the promo there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six Ikoria booster packs. I believe these are the regular Ikoria booster packs. Let's go ahead and open booster pack number one. Pre-release booster pack number one. All right, uh, let's see how this goes. So you have your Giant Stinger, Snare Tactician, of uh, One Mind, Serrated Scorpion, Fertilid, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Drainith Healer, Breaking Claws, Hampering Snare, oh, nice. Uh, Majestic Auricorn is our full art. Uh, show, uh, what are they called? Showcase or Extended? What are they called? One of those, anyways. <clears throat> so we have Sanctuary Smasher, Stormod Capridor. Oh, nice. Hold on. This is our uncommon, uncommon, our uncommon Sanctuary Smasher, Stormod Capridor, and our rare is a command, uh, Lutri, the Spell Chaser. He's a abandoned commander. Nice. So let's put this guy down. Um, I think I'm going to move all this paper aside, guys. There's our land. And token, we got tokens. So I think I'm gonna move this aside and this aside. All right, so I've gone ahead and separated the stuff by by regular uh, piles. So we have our our rares, mythics, promos, the uncommons, commons, tokens and then the die, so let's open up pack number two on our pre-release. All right, Helicon Glider, Capture Sphere, Lava Serpent, that's cool, Lava Serpent, Turbo Quill Bug, Bristling Boar, Hampering Snare, Evolving Wilds, nice, uh, Blood Curdle, Plummet, again, Giant Healer, Swallow Ho is our uncommon, Easy Prey is our second uncommon, I think there's a third, yep. Polywog symbiote, symbiote is our third, and our rare is nice, the Kogla, the Titan Ape. It's really good. And our land is Bloodfell, and we got a human token. All right, so let's go put that down. Uncommons. Third pack of pre-release. Just destroy that pack. All right, Tentative Connection, Pyramidal Sergeant, Whisper Squad, Sudden Spinners, Sp well, I totally killed that name, Facet Reader, Night Squad Commando, Flycatcher Giraffid, Light of Hope, Rumbling Rock Slide, Aegis Turtle, 
Horn Bash Mentor is our uncommon. Let's see, next uncommon is Necro Panther. That's pretty cool. Mutate, uh, la 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 la. Cool. Uh, 3343, three, three. nice. And mutate, that's crazy. Uh, our next, our third uncommon is Porky Parrot. Um, the regular art. Meh. Uh, and then Kogla again. Wow, another Kogla. And a mountain and a paper tokens. <clears throat> All right. Fourth pack, I believe. We have, with this one, three left, two after. All right. Pyros Ceratops. That's cool. Mean Serval, Gust of Wind, Prickly Marmoset, Mutual Destruction. Nice, that's an awesome name. Fully Grown, Boot Nipper, Anticipate, Blazing Volley, Day Squad Marshall, Reptilian Reflection. Nice, this is our first uncommon. Second uncommon. Frill Scare Mentor. Ooh, I already see a full art. Third uncommon is Escape Protocol. And the rare is Vivian. Yeah, but a freaking mythic. Nice. Vivian Monsters Advocate. Sweet. And then we have a dual land. So let's put this in our mythic pile and a dinosaur token. Cool. So I'm actually getting a lot of, uh, I don't know if I would call them big pools, but pretty good pools uh, when it comes to rares. Uh, I will have to kind of review all that. Obviously, it doesn't matter if something's rare or uncommon unless people use it. All right, second to the last pack. Imposing Dantasaur, Gust of Wind. Ferocious Tigerilla, nice. Checkpoint Officer, he's pretty cool. Honey Mammoth. Cavern Wh Whisper is a uh, like a full art, cool. Uh, showcase, what are they calling? Dreamtail Heron. Coordinated Charge. Ooh, Cloud Piercer, wow, this, this pack is pretty stacked. Farfinder. And our uncommons are Reconnaissance Mission. Auspicious Sterix. And our third uncommon is Channeled Force, wow. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard X cards. Target player draws X cards. Channeled force deals X damage up to one target creature or planeswalker. Oh, that's an interesting trade. And Cub Warden is our rare again. So, eh, pretty good. Swamp and then advertisement. I just noticed as I was putting everything away, there's one more pack left. <laughs> So let's do that. I, I don't know how I didn't see that. It was just to the side out of my vision, from my point of view. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Frost Lynx. Come on. Frost Lynx. Precious Tiger, Krula, Chronometer, Premier Sergeant, Phase Dolphin, Humble Naturalist, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, Farfinder, Cloud Piercer, nice. Our first uncommon is Sprite Dragon. Second uncommon is Rec Reconnaissance Mission. Heartless Act is our third. And our rare is Offspring Revenge. Offspring's Revenge. Cute cat. And, oh, we got a foil um, Zagoth Crystal. <laughs> what the heck? Good thing I opened this pack. And then there's our island and our human. So... Wow, I was already happy with what I got. Oh, this feels weird. Like the hollow feels weird. Um, but this was a great pack. I was already happy with what I was finishing with. All right, guys. So it looks like our uncommons were pretty cool pools, especially these showcases. I seem to have gotten a couple of them. Um, I'm going to put them on with the uncommons because I really like that type of artwork. Um, other than that, this pre-release seemed really cool. I got um, three rares out of it, even though two of them are the same, Kogla, and one's Lutri, and then we got uh, two, ra two, two Mythics, that's insane, out of how many packs, like, uh, that was six, seven, eight, maybe eight packs, wow, this one was insane, it came out of a free pack, so uh, keep watching guys, I will go ahead and put this video up and then I will put up an Akora Collector's Booster Box as soon as possible. I might give away that code as well for the MTG Arena that I got, as mentioned, since I don't play Arena. But we'll see how I do that later. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Deuce!